In this video, I'll show you how to use Zenfolio's pre-order feature to allow your clients to prepay for items that can be fulfilled by our integrated vendors. To receive notifications about new tutorials and our weekly live stream, make sure to click the subscribe button. To get started, click on Selling, then scroll down and click on Pre-order, then click Create New Pre-order. Go ahead and give your pre-order a name. I recommend creating and naming your pre-orders for specific events rather than using general terms. So instead of naming this baseball pre-order, I may use something like Raleigh Baseball Spring 2019. This will come in handy later on when you need to search and filter your pre-orders. Before you start adding to your pre-order, Go ahead and remove the example options. Now, let's add the vendor fulfilled packages and products that we want to offer for pre order. If you have a price list created, you can select it from the drop down list and import it here. If you'd like to offer a discount to your clients who pre order, you will need to duplicate that price list first and then discount the prices before importing it into the pre order. If you are not familiar with creating a price list, check out the link in the description below this video. On the import screen, your price list will be broken down into two sections, packages and a la carte items. You can select to import all available items here or manually select the products that you want to import into the pre-order. Once you have your item selected, click import this price list and the vendor fulfilled packages and products will be imported into your pre order. You can also use the Zenfolio recommendations button to add vendor fulfilled products to your pre order. This option comes in handy if you have not created a price list yet or just prefer not to use one. Once you have everything added, you can change the text of any package or product titles and descriptions. Just click in the text box and modify as needed. When you're finished, scroll to the bottom and click Next. The Customer Information section allows you to collect vital information from your clients using either a text box or a drop down. To add list items in the drop down, simply separate each item with a comma. Click the Add Customer Info button if you need to add more fields. Once you're finished, click Next. The Client Image Selection will be set to Yes if your pre-order contains any vendor fulfilled products. This option allows your clients to select the photos that they want to use for their order. To learn more about this process, check out the Help Guide article. The Pre-order Custom Message section is a good place to leave some photo day instructions for your clients or perhaps a quick note on what to expect. You can also set an expiration date for your pre-order. Once that date has passed, any visitor trying to access this link will be redirected to your homepage. If you are offering vendor fulfilled products, we recommend not enabling the auto approval feature. This way, after the shoot and once your clients have made their selections, you have the opportunity to review the cropping before the order goes to the lab. Under the Customized Shipping section, there are three options. If you want the orders shipped directly to your clients individually, use the first option. This allows your clients to choose from the shipping methods offered by the labs. Once your clients have selected their images and the orders have been approved and processed, the lab will ship the orders directly to the address your clients entered at checkout. If you would like to deliver the orders in bulk to your clients or have them come by your studio to pick them up, select the Ship to Me hybrid option. This will allow you to enter a custom message, which is a good place to let your clients know how their orders will be delivered. The shipping address is where you enter the address you want the lab to ship your clients' orders. The orders will be shipped using the lab's least expensive shipping method, however keep in mind that this cost will be deducted from the order revenue and not charged additionally to your clients. 
You can also use this option if your pre-order includes some self-fulfilled products that you would like to package with the vendor fulfilled products before shipping or delivering the orders to your clients. You can also set up a flat shipping fee here as well. The last option is only available if your pre-order contains only self-fulfilled products and no vendor fulfilled products. Once you have everything set up, you can copy the link to your pre-order here and add it to your site menu or share it out with your clients. I would recommend clicking the preview button first and testing it out to make sure that everything looks good. Once you're finished, click the done button to save your pre-order. This is Robert with Zenfolio Customer Success. Thank you for watching.